she has quit. That is, we're back to checking in on VTuber agency Wachter, who employs VTubers in numerous languages, including, very successfully, Spanish. That now bringing us over to one of their most successful VTubers, with Wachter Espanol, Misora Hina, who has now been missing in action for weeks. Or has she? That is, we check in on this account for the, at the time, PNG tuber, Meka. Now finally revealing this design, and even yesterday releasing a cover of Hosho Marine's I'm Your Treasure Box. And as it turns out, it has now been confirmed, Misora Hina and Meka are one and the same. So why would an established and successful VTuber with an agency stop all activity and then seemingly go independent? Well, this morning, we received our answer, as Meka would issue this statement in both Japanese and Spanish, saying I'm pleased to report the following regarding Misora Hina of the Watcher Corporation, of which I was in charge. And handedly, we also have a Meka in English account. Oh, hell yeah. Giving us this translation of to all my fans who support me to this day. I would like to take this opportunity to inform you about the character I played, Misora Hina. As of February 9th, 2023, I have terminated my membership contract with Wachter as the relationship of trust necessary for the proper conduct of business has been lost. I apologize for any concern I may have caused you. From now on, I will continue working as Meka at my own pace to advance my dreams and goals. I will be very grateful if you decide to support me. And oh no, that's not all. As once again, we are back with Wachter talent Shino Lila, who has been absent from Wachter for over a year now, working under the independent name of Eileen Noir. With Meka retweeting this statement from Eileen Noir, offered up in numerous languages, saying, Dear fans and persons concerned, I would like to inform you regarding the progress of the conflict between my former agency, Wachter, and I and this document. And buckle up, because this is a crash course, as we have a summary of previous events. As of March 2nd of 2022, Wachter Company Limited, a VTuber agency that I was affiliated with, posted a document entitled Report on the Damage Claim and Lawsuit Response to a Person Behind the Character, Chino Lila, on several official social media accounts owned by the agency. Apart from revealing my real name and surname to the public, yes, that's right, the agency revealed the full real name of this talent, we talked about this last year, which was such an unnecessary act. The messages given on the mentioned document also contained contents that violated my privacy and severely damaged my reputation by being unilateral. Furthermore, the document also clearly mentioned that they will initiate legal action against me. Fast forward to today, February 15th of 2023. I would like to inform that I still have not received any kind of contact from my former agency or their lawyer regarding the lawsuit. Although the document posted clearly stated that legal actions were going to be taken against me, including clearly specifying details of each contract breach, which they accuse that I have done. However, from my point of view, those contents are not true and severely damage my reputation. Anyhow, my lawyer and I have made several attempts to compromise with an intention to resolve the conflict, though we have still not received any contact back in any form from my former agency. Once again, I assure you that we have tried our best in trying to negotiate, but the other party still refused to do so. For this reason, I would like to inform you that the fact my former agency has claimed that they were initiating a lawsuit against me was just a legal threat. It did not appear that there was any action made according to that. So we have that wild update, and that's not all. As now we check back in on the Wachter talent, Kurari Rose, who has also been inactive since last year, and once again, now fully confirmed independent as Miron Morino, herself still finding success and confirming 85% of her audience is overseas, this talent residing in Japan, and today in a statement once again, retweeted by both Meka and Eileen, saying here, I would like to make the following report on Karari Rose, second generation character of Wachter Corporation, of which I was in charge. And now here we have a different story. Once again, thanking us for our concern while confirming in her case, there is a lawsuit saying, I sent a notice of termination to Wachter on March 2nd of 2022. After that, Wachter and I contacted each other through our respective attorneys. And unfortunately, no agreement was reached. On June 1st of the same year, a lawsuit was filed by Wachter, which is still ongoing. From the beginning of the trial until now, I have maintained that I did not do anything in violation of the treaty. Moreover, I am convinced that my time as Karari Rose did not violate any rules and that the law can prove its innocence. Meanwhile, regarding this case, I have entrusted the lawyer in charge because the judicial department has not made 
made a specific judgment that the content of the lawsuit and other details cannot be explained here for now. Allow me to report back to you after the judiciary has made a clear judgment. This talent then going on to thank her fans. So once again, in the instance of Eileen Noir, who may not reside in Japan, no lawsuit. But for Miron Marino, who is believed to reside in Japan, an active lawsuit is still ongoing. That as it is understood that Walker is a Japan-based VTuber agency. And no, of course that's not all. We have Walker talent Hana Sukito, who also has not been active since last year, now running under the name of Yumeri Ryu. Also this morning issuing her own statement, and of course retweeted by the other three, right here confirming in English on the tweet that they were formally in charge of the character of Sukito Hana, and confirming that as of April 30th of 2022, they officially ended their contract with the previous agency Wachter, having repeatedly contacted Wachter through lawyers since March of 2022, but after consultation with lawyers, having formally ended the contract as of April 30th of 2022. This talent going on to apologize to fans for the delay in informing us about this news, and also stating they are contracted through the Reaverse production company now. Saying further, from now on, I will prioritize my physical health and will do my best to work more as myself. Thank you for your continued support. So, in review, no court case, contract ended. Active court case, contract ongoing, question mark, and no court case yet, and no way in hell is Eileen ever going back. We'll see what this all means for Meka, but that now also brings us to a fellow Walker Espanol member, Luna Rorine, having now been inactive for weeks and only posting this explanation, the Spanish being just questionable enough to make people wonder if it was actually her who wrote it. Meanwhile, we have tweets from Meka describing how she was talking with someone for five hours, going only by the name of Nisha. Further going on to retweet this artwork of herself, but also tagging another account. And here we have it, a potential account for Nisha, as well as an active Instagram account with multiple stories. Many at this time using context clues to understand this is now an alternate account for Luna, as many are now expecting to see if they'll see a statement from this talent. And further bringing eyes to Walter Espanol talent, Neon Kuroyori, who at the time, when we last talked about this story, 15 days ago, went live for a short one-hour stream. Having been gone for eight days, she has since not streamed for two weeks now. This all bringing a lot of attention to Walter and more specifically, the head of the agency, Mei Chan. When we last talked about this, we also described the story of Mako Hanami, who described her experience with Walker and then turned down an opportunity to work with the corporation, having seen their contract, which even included penalties that could charge the talents up to 40,000 USD or 5 million yen. Since the last time that we talked about this story, Hanami would further share that numerous tweets and other social media posts referencing her story have been removed. Going on to say, they recommended that I delete the tweets on the subject, it's my story, they will will not silence me. Don't let them silence us. That then leading to a very active hashtag and numerous stories of what looked to be Wachter filing claims against videos and other social media posts. In this instance, filing claims against videos using Wachter IP and usage of their logo. That of course leading to numerous memes. Here we see Mei Chan doing their damnedest to remove these posts and other visual interpretations of the agency. As of course, numerous fans are asking, where is Neon? After this, Wachter would make a formal statement saying, we appreciate the continued support of Wachter VTuber members. Attention has been called for slander and nuisance. Such acts harm other members of the company and interfere with the VTuber's business and our company directly. So we urge those taking those actions to stop immediately. Consider the fact that there are members who are still positively working on their duties. In addition, the sanctions we may resort to in each of the social networks such as Twitter and YouTube those who have incurred an offensive or problematic act if we determine that it corresponds with a crime such as defamation or obstruction of a business in that case we will consult with an attorney file a complaint and take appropriate legal action including a request for disclosure of information and any other action necessary to protect our members you should consider that members who are actively and sincerely working with Wachter have dreams and goals to follow and that we want to continue to provide entertainment to the fans who support our activities. We would appreciate it if you would understand that we will fully support those members and fans who support us unconditionally. To all of them we ask above all to continue to support
support us with their patronage and above all with their understanding. Once again, numerous questions about this VTuber agency. This now fully confirming that their second and third generations are officially gone. No further members remain with the agency. While there are remaining questions about other members, such as Yui Sawahime having now been inactive for four months, and also Leah having been inactive for half a year. And next up, we're checking in with V Shoujo. It's Natasha Yanners, the self-described horrible creature, featured in this killer artwork that by Hey Kevbo. Congratulating Yanners on one million followers on Twitch.tv. As reported yesterday, it was confirmed that Yanners will be featured in the actual next Like a Dragon game. Yanners saying, that's me. I can't thank RGG Studio and Sega enough for the opportunity. The Yakuza series were some of the first games I streamed when I started VTubing, and they were a huge inspiration for me. This is so surreal and a dream come true. I can't wait to help you all conquer foes. This announcement receiving some pushback, as we also have V Shoujo's Kaysan, who is auditioning for a role in an upcoming Like a Dragon game, herself now releasing a special Valentine's Day message pack with V Shoujo, and reacting to the news with congrats to Nyan, now I gotta win my audition. That is also in the video. Nyaner's also detailed that her own mascot was inspired from another character in the series. That all said, just the day before this announcement, Nyaner's did confirm, I think I'm gonna take a break from streaming for a bit. I wanna make sure my streams are a fun and chill place for everybody, but right now, I'm not in the best mindset for it due to some stress I'm dealing with. I hope I can come back soon and bring 100% again. Thank you. Saying further, I'm still gonna make it to collabs on other channels and stuff. That including this collab with OTK, as Nanners and Lord Athelstan will face off against Imaru and Asmund Gold over on Tectone's channel. Athel responding to Nanners announcement with Pink Cat Good. Iron Mouse chiming in with I love you so much. I'm always here for you no matter what. Please rest and take all the time you need. And Silvervale also saying I hope everything is okay. We all love you so much and we'll be waiting here as long as it takes. Best Pink Cat. Lastly, we have this response. Always gotta give yourself some time. We all love you and I'm happy to support my friend in any regard. That message coming by way of Snuffy, having now announced a brand new merch drop, this time from Fanjoy, complete with apparel and goods. And yes, yeah, speaking of merch, this month we have a brand new merch subscription box with Ubu Market. You can pick up a t-shirt, extra large poster, mug, jet tag, and vinyl sticker, available only until the end of this month. Check it out with the link below. That is next, we check in with Xana, at Jones underscore Xana, saying all type of graphic designing can be done in cheap price. And it turns out, apparently, they are the character illustrator for numerous Hall Live talents, including Mato Allo, Sakamata Chloe, and yes, even the V singer Iris, saying further, hey everyone, do you need 2D Maudel? So please DM me, I'm running 50% discount now a days. And folks, don't even bother, I'm already way ahead of you. Commissioning my next model, it's a 50% discount, how could I resist? All right, now of checking in with the official Hall Live account, as you can see there, from the banner we had big news last night. That's right, we have dates for the Hollow Myth 3D Showcase Relay. Starting with Ina, ending with Ame, running on different dates at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. And then after that, a full Hollow Myth 3D stream. That's right, at long, long, long last, we have official 3D debuts for Hollow Myth. This being in the works for over a year and a half now. Of course, many wondering what is gonna make this so special as we have seen the 3D models on on numerous streams now, but these members now in Japan confirming a lot of their work overseas has been in relation to these 3D reveals. All this news coming last night during the Myth Japan Off collab held at Mori Calliope's place and not without a few technical issues. Callie afterwards saying, sorry for the audio issues. Two mics is impossible because they kept picking up double audio when I tested. Additionally, the girls all sat where they wanted to. Then later saying, thanks for the advice. Just got five lavalier mics. So we can try again before everyone leaves. As some viewers said, Takanashi Kiara was a little loud, while Ninamai Inanis and Amelia Watson were a little quiet, and Shark Girl Galgura was very quiet. Having confirmed, she was working on only two hours of sleep, taking some issue with how her schedule was arranged by Cover Corporation, and yes, as reflected here by Aperture, chronicling the stream toward the end, calling the others cringe. All understandable, as earlier Takanashi Kiara said, Guru can probably smell my stinky feet through the walls from here. And then earlier this morning confirming that she was using Gura as a pillow. Tweeting out the whole day I kept on resting my head on Gura whenever I sat next to her. It's like a magnet was dragging me there. I 
was so tired. That whole wall guru could be seen alongside another Hall Live English member. These two designs lined up for the Hollow Nina event. Yes, that's right. It's Rat VTuber Hecos Bells. Having earlier joined the Ozora police, letting both Ina and Gura free, but to the agreement of everyone, imprisoning Kobo of Hall Live Indonesia. After saying successful first day at Ozora police, I will continue to work hard for the sake of justice. And earlier running a watch along of the first Top Gun movie, after saying never forget Goose, and then telling this user, you don't understand. That being VTuber Miori Celesta and very good friend of Bay. As after we received this surprise tweet on Bay's account, reading guess which silly dumb dumb rat left her Twitter open while she went to go take a bath. That then receiving a bruh from Bay after another WTF tweet. And yeah, would you believe it? Some people got a little angry about this prank between two friends. Miori later confirming, yes, I got permission to tweet. Everyone can relax now. She basically saw me write it. Further saying, I understand people might have been concerned with security issues and whatnot, but I would have never tweeted it if she wasn't okay with it. It's not meant to be taken seriously. Not that it matters as Bay was later eaten by Hachima, just as we all suspected. And bringing us back to the Sukomo net shop, finally revealing what we all suspected. The artwork given to them from Sukomo Sana last year is now available on new goods, including acrylic stands seen here on this incredibly Japanese website of theirs, complete with horrible background. And not only that, we have file folders and a wonderful desk mat. Moving on, we have Hall Stars English member Gavis Bettel posting himself in this maid outfit on Valentine's Day, an absolutely disgraceful display, putting on this VTuber asset from Seren Dark, saying, I don't know how to feel that this is one of my most popular tweets. Absolutely disgusting. What self-respecting man would ever be seen in a maid costume? Clearly an absolutely horrible display for anyone to put their eyes on. Just hand in your balls now. And once again, Hollow Tempest does have Valentine's merch. Gavis responding, you can now purchase the boys and my giant forehead. This is then leading to more bullying from known bullies, Giga at General Giga and Girl DM, who is everywhere, starting a game of tic-tac-toe on the forehead of Gavis, saying, Giga, your turn. Giga continuing the game with Bet. That then leading to Hall Live Indonesia's Crazy Ollie, enjoying loads of fan artwork with her new ninja look, and now giving us the full layout of the mixed matches for the upcoming Crazy Arcade. Gavis taking place here on Team E, as here now at last, officially, we have a full rundown on all the Hall Live English girls who are cheating on us with other men. As seen here, we have Hecos Bells, Mori Calliope, Anya Malfisa, Makina X Fleon, Kobo Kanaru, Irani Io 15, and Tokoyami Toa. For shame on you girls. For shame. Thankfully, now we know who best girls are. Here's a hint. They're on Team Zombie. As not only do we have best girl Rubiko-san, but also birthday girl Muna Hoshinova. Now celebrating her birthday with brand new goods, including not just a tapestry and necklace, but also a plushie of her brand new mascot. As here we have King Biscuit saying three years. Happy birthday, Muna, with the official mascot receiving all the smooches. Then a while King Biscuit has their own acrylic stands available of the Hall Live Indonesia talents, available in both Indonesia and overseas. That also while the Sukomo Net Shop has brand new merchandise for the first and second gen of Hall Live Indonesia. That's right, we got plushies, keychains, and badges. Very quickly now, we're checking in with Lily Sin of Idol Corporation, a demon VTuber who will be graduating. As Idol would make this announcement, we regret to inform you that Lily Sin from Idol Origin Generation will hold her graduation stream on February 24th. Following that, her streaming activities and social media interactions will immediately cease afterwards. Lily has chosen not to renew her contract with Idol, and we fully respect her decision. We understand that life can sometimes bring about changes and shifts in priorities, and our foremost concern is for the well-being and happiness of our talents. That is why we support Lily's choice to focus on what is best for her. Lily's still continuing with some activities this morning, also letting us know something happened today, so I'm moving today's stream to Friday. Love you all. This now removing three of the five original members of the now entitled Idol Origin Generation for Idol. That all while yesterday it was confirmed that YouTube singer Kyo Resu, popular YouTuber with almost half a million subscribers, has officially joined the Idol family. Her VTuber self, under the new design and name of Rira Ron, set to debut tomorrow. And before turning in for the day, giving a gift to her senpai, Juna Unagi, as this electric eel shared this illustration saying, look at what she drew 
for me. That while Riro received a gift from Fuyo Cloverfield. Idol's wish granting green thing. Riro showing off this illustration saying somehow first fan art by my senpai was this. And from senpai to kohai, it's our co-host Heidi bringing us even more things VTubers say. Hi, hi everyone. Starting off, we have VTuber company Aurora Live VR, who we've mentioned in the previous episode for the opening of their auditions, as they are looking for voices for the three models shown here. But now, recently following up with this statement, announcing that they have removed the requirement for knowing Japanese or Chinese after receiving feedback from the crowd. Continuing on, saying that these language skills, while no longer a requirement, are still highly appreciated and valued. So now, you can perhaps be siblings with Aurora Live VR's Lillian Shizukan, who shares mamas with the Nebula Sheep and Zombie Demon models showcased in this audition, and is also making a debut of her own on the 23rd. We also have Aurora Live VR's Aine, who is also debuting soon on the 18th, as she asks us for any questions and song requests, hoping to be singing and having a Q&A for her debut stream. Next up, we have Kometa's Elaine, who gives us some unfortunate news regarding her condition, showing us that she had recently been diagnosed with hearing loss, expressing that this news hit her even harder than her spine injury, since she values her hearing more than anything. And because of her diagnosis, Kometa Virtual Live had released this announcement, stating that all of Elaine's activities related to music production will be postponed until an approved rehabilitation routine is in place, as we all wish Elaine a restful break and speedy recovery. Continuing on, we have Kometa's Virgil recently releasing her first ever solo cover of Lum's love song for for Valentine's Day, with the lovely MV illustrations done by Haho, who also gives us this art of himself cheering Virgil on, telling us that she had worked very hard and making sure that we all give the song cover a listen. Also giving us music is Prism Project's Iku Hoshifuri, as not only will she be premiering her new original song, Prism no Yoni, on the 18th, but also announcing that her first ever album, Cloud 19, will be coming out on the 19th. The talent will also be hosting a radio show series titled Highlight Radio, until the end of the month, where she will be highlighting select songs from the upcoming Cloud19 album, along with comments from fans and special guests, with the first episode out now on her YouTube channel. And lastly, we can also hope to see Iku, along with her fellow agency mates Aoi Tokimori, Meno Ibuki, and Pina Penguin, as the four set to make Prism Project's first ever TV appearance on Tokyo MX. Much thanks to the team at VEE, or V, Sony Music's virtual talent development and management project, for the wonderful opportunity, which you can maybe hope to see the archive on YouTube soon. And that's all for me. Back to you, False. Thank you so much, Heidi. That is lastly today, we have even more artwork of myself and another co-host of ours, Lady. That from Belly at Bellymama underscore art saying they aren't any good at telling the weather, but the other news are on spot. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch.tv and we'll have more. Things VTubers save for you soon.